Hi everyone, welcome to Themes Code. Today in this video training, we are going to learn how to use Easy Table of Contents plugin. As the name implies, we will use it to create a table of content on a few blog posts. Once you have learned everything we have covered in this tutorial, you will be able to create a table of contents like this one. Also, you will be able to display the table anywhere on your web page, like in a sidebar. And make it sticky while you scroll up and down. Now, let me show you the advantage of having such a table of contents. When you click on a heading, you will be automatically led to the specific section. And you don't have to do that manually by scrolling all the way up and down. We are going to experiment on and demonstrate the plugin previously mentioned through the following steps. Step number one, we will create a simple table of contents at the top of a blog post. Step number two, we will know how to automatically add table of contents to all posts. Step number three, we will learn how to specify which post will show such tables and which others won't. We will know how to exclude specific headings from showing in the table. We will be able to automatically display the table of contents for any post in the sidebar. After completing these five steps, we will include a bonus part. Let's start then. Let's install the plugin. As you can see, I'm on the dashboard of my site. Let's navigate to plugins and click add new. Search for easy table of contents. Here is the plugin we are looking for. Let's click install now. Now hit activate. The plugin has been successfully installed and activated. Let's go to the settings page for the plugin. Now enable supports for post. Scroll down and click save changes. Now let's view a blog post on the site. It's not showing any table of contents, neither at the top nor anywhere else, while we scroll down. Let's edit the post. Go to the bottom. Here you can see we haven't asked to insert our table of content in this post. So that's why it hasn't. Let's Check this box then. Also, select which headings you want to show in the table of contents. I'm choosing H2, H3, H4, and H5 headings because these are the headings I have used in this post. Now, update the post.
and view it. Now you see here the table of contents. It's pretty neat, isn't it? Let me explain the indentation a bit. These headings, namely introduction, pros and cons, key features, ease of use, and customization are of the same type, H3. That's why they are aligned. These headings, namely cons, typography, colors, and layout, are type A4, so they are aligned also. The same applies to these headings. Now, when you click on a heading, you are led to a specific section. So, step number one is complete. Now, step number two. See this post, for example. It doesn't show our table of contents at the moment. Let's switch to the edit mode to know the reason. Scroll down to the bottom. Here you see table of contents isn't enabled for the post. Isn't it cumbersome to manually add table of contents to all posts? So let's see how to automatically do that. First, navigate to the settings page for the plugin. Check auto insert for post. Then scroll down and click Save Changes. Now let's view the post again. See, this time our table of content is shown. Well, then let's view the third post. Here too, our table of contents is shown. It's because of the auto insert feature. So, step number two is complete. Now, one to step number three, here we learn to specify which post will show such tables and which others won't. Let's say we want to automatically add tables of content to all posts except this one. So let's copy this path first. Go to the settings page for the plugin. Scroll down. Input the path here in the limit path section. Click Save Changes. Now let's view the page again. Let's refresh it. This time the table of contents isn't showing for this post, whereas other posts are showing that. So guys, this is how you exclude certain posts from automatically showing table of contents. Step number three is complete. Now on to step number four. This time we'll know how to exclude specific headings from showing in the table for a post. Take a look at this table of contents. Let's say we don't want this heading to show up on the table. Let's copy it. Then go to edit mode for the post.
navigate to the bottom of the post, paste the heading in the exclude headings section, hit update. Now view the post. As you can see, the heading doesn't show up on the table, although it's inside the post. Now let's move on to step number five. This time we'll automatically display the table of contents for any post in the sidebar. Let's navigate to Appearance, then click Wizards. Let's say we want to display the table at the top of the sidebar. So click the top section on the main sidebar. Click the vertical three dots to make this menu show up. Now hit insert before. Click the plus icon. Search for table of contents. Choose it. Put a title for the section. Let's name it list of contents. You may choose a highlight color for the active section in the table. Or you may choose the default color. Now collapse this section. Okay, click update. Let's view a page. And the table of content is shown here in the sidebar. However, it also shows at the top of the post. We don't want the same table at two different places. So let's make sure of that. Navigate to the settings page for table of contents. Uncheck posts. Now go to the bottom and click Save Changes. Well, now let's view the post again. Let's refresh it. This time the table shows only in the sidebar. So, step number five is complete now. This video tutorial is literally finished. However, we want to add a bonus part here. We will make the table in the sidebar sticky. Let me show you. That way, whenever you are scrolling up and down, you will always get to see the table of contents. Okay then, let's do it. To realize this, we have to install another plugin. That's the reason we call this a bonus part. Let's navigate to plugins. Click add new. Search for fixed wizards. Install this particular plugin and then activate. The plugin has been successfully installed and activated. Now, to make the table sticky, let's go to Appearance, then click Wizards. Click Table of Contents. It has 
expanded. Now check the box next to fixed widget. Click update. Now let's view a post. Let's refresh it. As you can see, the table of contents is sticky now. Okay guys, this is how you can display table of contents on your blog post on a WordPress website. I hope you like this video. Show your appreciation by hitting the like button. Leave your comments and subscribe to the channel unless you already have done that. In addition, you can press the bell icon so that every time we upload a new video, you get instantly notified about it. Okay then, until the next time, have a big one.